Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. BricsCAD as a version 15 offers us drawing tabs, and that's a quick way to switch between drawings, close them, and even perform some file functions. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the most use of them. Drawing tabs are run along the top here. You're probably familiar with them from programs like Excel and web browsers. Let me open up a set of drawings so you can see what it's like when uh, multiple drawings are open. So I'm going to go to File, Working Sets, and load an existing working set. And uh, there we go. We've got uh, now five drawings open. Each The name of each drawing is in a tab. And if we want to close a drawing, you just uh, click the X and it's closed. Now, if the drawing had been saved, of course, it'll ask you to save the changes. By clicking each tab, you can see almost immediately what is in each drawing. Let's take a look at the commands that are hidden inside of each of these tabs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click a tab and then I can show you what there is. A lot of the commands have to do with tabs, other ones have to do with file related activities. So let's have a look here. First one of course will close the current tab. This one closes all the ones that are to the left of this tab and that's over here. The tabs to the left would be drawings that are opened earlier than the current drawing. Same but opposite for close right tabs, that would be closing drawings that are opened later than this current one. This uh, one helps you isolate the drawing so it closes all the tabs except the current one and this closes all the drawings. The next few commands are uh, same ones you'd find in the file menu. Save all is very handy, it saves all the drawings at once. Position lets you determine where you want these tabs along the top, bottom, sides. Um, I like to have them along the top uh, just for familiarity but uh, if you don't have a lot of room top and bottom then you can move them to the left or right but it doesn't take effect until you, after you restart BrickSCAD. Duplicate tab means it'll open the same drawing again in a second tab, so let's do that now. So what it's going to do is it's going to first save the current drawing as a copy, and you notice here that it's uh, draw file name is prefixed with copy. I'll save that, and then there's the copy of it over there, and here's the back to the original. Restore last session, uh, that's to restore all the drawings that were open the last time you closed BricsCAD and that's kind of like the uh, this command over here for working sets. Uh, what else do we have here? Open the folder. Well that's the folder in which the uh, drawing is found. Yeah, cascade, tile and vertical, horizontal, tiling, uh, well that's the individual window so I'll show you what the effect is. I'll click on cascade and uh, this is something that's always been available in BricsCAD through the Windows menu. You can see here, Cascade, but um, it's uh, not something that uh, I don't think people ever use. Uh, but it is there. It's sort of one of those things left over from the very earliest days of Windows when, uh, when programmers thought it might be useful to either uh, cascade the drawings or the other one, of course, is to uh, tile them, which means you can see each one, but in a tiny little window. And I've never found that to be particularly useful. I did want to point out the difference between the tabs at the top of the drawing and the ones at the bottom. The ones at the top let you switch between individual drawings while the one below switches between the layouts of the current drawing. So I can switch between the layouts of this one here, of this drawing tablet, or I can go up to this uh, stool and uh, switch between its uh, layouts. But uh, don't confuse the two, those are both sets of tabs, but they perform different functions. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.